Alright, what up guys? Today I'm doing another Overwatch video and today I'm going to be talking about Winston. And again, this is just tips for new players or or people that play the game that just want to have a better understanding of how to play as Winston before they uh, actually uh, play as the character. Or if they have been playing the character, they just want to know a little bit more about the character and uh, how you should play um, with this character. So here's Winston right here. I'm just going to go over some characters that can give him some trouble. Um, a rogue hog can just because he has that grappling hook that can stun you and he can self heal. So uh, he can cause a lot of trouble. Um, a diva. Now she can just escape really fast so she can get away from you. I'm pretty sure with her shield that she has. Um, the Tesla cannon will go through that, but you still have to be up close. And then a Pharah, just because she's up in the air, even though with his jump ability, you can go up there and do quite a bit of damage if you see her. And she's low enough. So right here, I'm just looking at uh, Winston's ability. He has a Tesla cannon, which is a you know short-range uh, electric weapon. And then his uh, ultimate is a Primal Rage, which is more for like dispersing enemies from like a point or knocking you know players off of the map and then he has the jump uh, ability which does damage but not that much and then the barrier that protects him if he's in the barrier so right here guys I'm just going to show you uh, Winston's abilities and stuff like that so this is his primary weapon this Tesla cannon it doesn't have a secondary fire this is all it is and you pretty much have to be really up close to uh, do damage with the weapon and then this is his jump where he can jump up high and get uh, to you know places quicker as well and then this is his shield that you know will take uh, uh, incoming damage so you don't take damage and then as well you gotta make sure if you, the enemy is in the bubble that it doesn't protect you so you have to move out if they move in just to let you guys know and then you got his uh, ultimate ability, which again, like I said before, it's more for like dispersing uh, enemies, like over a control point or a uh, capture point or whatever, or knocking enemies off the map. It's not really meant to do uh, damage. Even though you can kill characters with his uh, ultimate ability, it's just most of the time you're not going to. So it's more for, again, if you have a big group of enemies, you want to, you know, move them around, get them off the point, and then so your other teammates can uh, take over the point and then do damage to them as you're moving them around. So let's get into the uh, gameplay right here, and this is uh, Watch Point Gibraltar, I think. Uh, but this is the map that I like to use them on, and this is what I do. I usually jump onto the point early in the game and just get everyone looking at me so my other guys can actually uh, you know back me up by uh, getting onto the point after I jump uh, on it and everyone's looking at me and then as we're trying to take it over you know I drop my shield and then uh, players that I look for is uh, like um, a Lucio I look for a Junkrat or a T Torborn guy because you can do a lot of damage to them be just because they don't have a lot of damage and uh, a Tracer as well just because if you can get close enough to her, you can do a good amount of damage to her. And this this is me using my ultimate. So right here, again, I'm not really trying to kill anybody. I'm just trying to get everyone uh, away from the point so we can capture it and stuff like that. And then, like I said, with the junk rack, uh, with the junk rack, you can take them out really fast. A Lucio, he's a good counter to uh, a good Lucio player as well. So if you're if you're playing against a good Lucio, uh, you know, Winston's a good counter. And then as you see me right here, again, I jump on the point. I put my shield down to protect any teammates around me or myself. And then a Zenyatta is an easy target for Winston. Like I said, a Lucio is an easy tar target. Um, a May, if she sees you, can cause trouble for you. But again, she can't really do enough damage to you to kill you usually uh, unless you're taking fire from other teams then she can cause trouble and then with the super his ultimate I really like to wait until I'm almost dead and then I pop my ultimate and I get a lot a ton of health and I'm able to again disperse the enemies from getting too close to the control point as we're trying to take it over 
And again, he's good at you know rushing in and then backing off too. So you know you get uh, the other team to back away, and you know you just cause them not to be able to constantly try to attack your other teammates. And, and again, like I said with the tracer, if you can get it up close to her, you know deal with her. But if she escapes, um, you know you should probably just stay away. Uh, she can do damage to you, uh, but like I said, I, I know how Tracer moves and her patterns and stuff like that. You shouldn't really teabag tea anybody in this game, but I was kind of... Before this game, I was playing a lot of other games where people were doing that to me, so I kind of did that. But uh, it's probably your best bet not to uh, teabag, I guess. Don't be a dick when you're playing this game, uh, I always say. And then when you come in in here again... He's good at taking care of uh, Symmetra's uh, turrets out as well. Um, a lot of the time you're going to see Symmetra's turrets by this uh, by this wall over here. So what I like to do is I pop my shield next to the wall, take out the turrets, and then my teammates don't have to worry about Symmetra's turrets. And again, uh, you saw that Rogue Hog. I didn't want to go after him because, again, he can do a lot of damage to me and... And he's a big tank like I am. But he can self-heal, unlike me, so I didn't really want to take him one-on-one. -on -one. And again, when I'm playing against... Uh, when I'm using Winston, I usually look for like the Reapers or the Tracers or... Uh, like I said, the Junkrat or Lucio to take out before I try to take out anybody else. And anytime you you have your shield, make sure you drop it. Even though your shield takes a lot longer to uh, recharge than your jump does, your jump really recharges really fast. So keep that in mind. So that's really good. Uh, like I said before, you could jump into a, a battle and then jump away and escape real fast once you uh, you know you get into the battle. But it becomes a little bit too much for you. That's a good way to escape. And right here, I'm taking trying to take care of the rogue hog i can't believe i won that fight but i did uh i had a lucio right there at the end to heal me so that was pretty good um and again you want to you know pretty much stay next to your teammates if you're you know doing the you know playing on the map like this this is a map that i really like them on uh usually when it, the map or when uh i play on this map i usually start off as a winston especially for that first part just to get that first control point done so we can uh, you know, take care of the uh, the cart we have to uh, push over here. And like I said before, uh, with the example of how fast your jump recharges, you know, I jumped into the fight and then I jumped away and backed up to my teammates so I could heal. Or and then I get my super and again I try to uh, spread them out. Again, his super is not really meant to uh, kill people. It's just to spread them out so you can keep pushing the cart forward or just disrupt their ability to stay together and attack everyone at once and then once you know with your uh, ultimate um you know you do damage to certain characters so maybe your teammates will back you up and uh, take care of them that way and then again once you see a junk rat again be careful with the junk rat because he does you know he has those traps and he has the mines that he can explode on you and do a lot of damage but you know, for the most part, uh, Winston's really a get-in kind of character and then get out. And then with a Lucio, I, I, again, right here, I'm just showing you how much damage he can do to a Lucio. Even though right there, Lucio was using his speed boost to try to get away from me. Um, and he's really good against a Torborn as well, taking care of his turrets. And then right here, I just kind of pop my ultimate just because I want to get rid of him. And didn't want him to set up another turret somewhere else. And then I come back here to back up my teammates with the shield because the um, um, tracer's over here. So I make sure I take care of her while they keep pushing the cart forward. And then with, even with the soldier, he can do a lot of damage. But again, I saw the Lucio. And I, like I said before, he's a very good counter to a Lucio. So if you see a Lucio that, and a very good one on any map, uh, you know, the smart move would uh, to be to um, switch over to Winston and then take care of Lucio once 
uh, you take care of Lucio, uh, that should open up other areas for your teammates to kill um, other characters. Come on! And again, a Zenyatta uh, can be difficult to kill uh, with uh, Winston as well because she's another tank character, but you can do it uh, as well. And uh, a Winston's a very good counter for uh, a Zenyatta's ultimate. So she can pop her ultimate, and if you don't have a, a Reinhardt on your team to shield you guys from her ultimate, uh, a Winston can really uh, you know, pop his bubble to save your other teammates that are trapped and her um, ultimate which I'll show you in a second so right here you see me chasing down a reaper again you want to be careful with reaper because if you're at you know uh, only half health or whatever he you know a reaper does a lot of damage to you so you gotta be careful uh, when de dealing with a reaper he can uh, really do a lot of damage to you and then always always know where these uh, health packs are even though I think it's a little bit too um, Pacific on you have to really be right on the health pack to pick it up uh, To get the health sometimes you think you're backing up to it and you're going to get healed and you just end up walking right past it uh, so uh, That's something I do a lot and again with the tracer. I know her movement So I know when she teleports that she's usually going to end up behind me So I'll turn around but that just takes time and practice when uh, You're playing against a tracer um, you know, you got to practice and learn their moves and their patterns before you, uh, you get good at, you know, taking them out. And then over here, again, he's, uh, right here, I see them trying to push up. So I'm trying to knock them off right here, but I don't really good, do a good job of that. But, um, that was my goal, but unfortunately I didn't do a very good jo job. But then right here, I put my, uh, you know, my barrier down to protect my teammates, even though, uh, it didn't last that long because you know the whole other team was out here but again um, if we had a good uh, Zenyatta right there or uh, what's his name uh, it's, yeah Zenyatta and Zarya I get those confused a lot so I was able to stay alive with that good Zenyatta ultimate and then right here this is what I'm talking about with Zarya's ultimate you can really counter her ultimate by you know putting your protective barrier and then that way um, you know, you protect your teammates, and then he's really good against the Reinhardt because his primary weapon goes right through his shield, so it doesn't block the damage uh, at all. And then when you're on the, um, you know, the cart, you can put the barrier on it, so as the cart moves, it keeps the shield over it, so just in case you guys didn't know that. And, and again, guys, just make sure you always know where this health is so you can pick it up. And then right here I see a Torborn set up so I make sure I take care of his turret. That's the most important thing. And then I go after Torborn itself because, you know, I want to get a kill with the ultimate, which I never do. And then I see the Mercy. So if you ever see a Mercy, you want to make sure you try to take her out before you take anybody else out. And that's pretty much it. Right there you see uh, we... Uh, we take care of this one match, we beat them, and we do uh, a pretty good job as a team. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully it's helpful. You know, I hope so. Um, again, it's not really made for MLG pros or anything like that. It's just for uh, new uh, people that just got the game or people that have been playing the game and they want to play as Winston. They just want... Uh, a better understanding of Winston and stuff like that but um hopefully this video is helpful um if not you know I apologize but um that's gonna do it for me guys and again thanks for watching if you did uh and I'll check you guys out later